and i'll do this for the whole of the place which is not selected for this image so like here now just click on i just hold shift click and start dragging to add this place to the selection this place is this um part is key when you want to change your background so make sure you get every inch correctly make sure you take your time to do this even if it take you an hour to make a perfect selection make sure your selection is perfect because if your selection is not perfect you are not going to get a good result it's going to look fake so make sure your selection is perfect so i'm just going to take my time to make a perfect selection for this image hi everyone today here welcome back to my youtube channel in the part one of this video we did the screen retouching and also we did color grading for this image right here so let's let me show you where we started from so we started from here and um, we are here right now so if you have not watched the part one of this video i'll be leaving the card above so just click on the card and it's going to take you to the part one of this video so if you want to learn how we got here go and watch that video and come back to this video to watch how i change the background of this video in the second part of this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i change background of this image from like this to like this so let's get started so now at this i'm going to i'm just going to change the background of this image before i change the background of this image i'll first of all look at my image and see if i want to change anything as well just observe my image and see if i want to change anything as well if i want to make any adjustment since i'm okay with this image like this and i don't want to make any more adjustment to this image i'm just going to merge the layers so i'm just going to create a stamp visible layer i'll click on ctrl shift alternate e to merge everything i just did in a new layer so after merging in a visible layer I'm just going to duplicate this layer by clicking on ctrl j to duplicate it and then i'm going to select my subject out of the background so there are multiple ways you can do that but i'm just going to be using this quick selection tool right here so i'm just going to click on my quick selection tool and i'll click on select subject make sure auto enhance is turned on so photoshop is automatically going to select my subject for me as you can see photoshop did not do a very good job so i'm just going to manually continue to select this subject so i'll come to my polygonal lasso tool right here which is this one right here this polygonal lasso tool i'll click on it and um since i want to add this place to the selection i'll click on my shift i hold shift to add so just hold shift click click and drag click and drag like this click and drag to select where you want to add to the selection keep clicking and dragging like this and once you are done making the selection go back to the place you started from and just click on it like this and it's going to add this place to the selection and i'll do this for the whole of the place which is not selected for this image so like here now just click on i just hold shift click and start dragging to add this place to the selection this place is this um part is key when you want to change your background so make sure you get every inch correctly make sure you take your time to do this even if it take you an hour to make a perfect selection make sure your selection is perfect because if your selection is not perfect you're not going to get a good result it's going to look fake so make sure your selection is perfect so i'm just going to take my time to make a perfect selection for this image let me just remove this place from selection so to remove what you have to do is click on alternate to remove so click on alternate hold alternate click and just drag like this to remove a part from the selection so basically shift is to add and alternate is to remove since i move this place from the selection right now i'm just going to add this hand to the selection so i'll hold my shift click and start dragging to add this hand to the selection like this so just take your time make sure your selection is perfect i'm just going to select this whole image right now and um, once i'm done i'll get back to you guys so we are done with the selection the selection is not perfect but we are going to refine it even more so after making the selection like this next thing i'm going to do you are going to create a new layer mask and to create a new layer mask just come down here create a layer mask and you successfully cut out the subject from the background so if i turn off all my background layer let me just group everything so i can turn off my background layer so you can see so if i turn off all my background layer you can see as many the subjects in the background so right now i'm just going to refine the edge of the of this uh, image you can see the edges are looking rough and they are not smooth so i'm just going to make it look smoother and to do that i'll come back to my layer mask double click on it and it's going to open these new windows for me right here once you are here under your global refinement 
if you don't see your global refinement just click on global refinement and you're going to see smooth feather and contrast so just move your smooth to about 90 if possible 100 but for the sake of this image i'm going to be using 80 or 79 for this image right here and once i'm done i'll come to my contrast i'll increase my contrast to about 27 or 25 and once i'm done i'll click on ok and you can see the edge are smooth right now you can see the edge are looking smoother right now and once you've gotten that out of the way double click on your layer mask again this time i want to refine the hair i want the hair to look more realistic so double click on your layer mask again click on it and it's going to come back to this tab right here and this time pick your refine edge tool this is your refine edge tool click on it increase your brush size and just click on the edge of the hair like this so just click on the edge of the hair like this and it's going to make the hair look more realistic and more natural so i'm just going to do this for um the hair and i'll come to this side as well i'll just brush all the way down like this and brush all the way in like this and once i'm done i'll click on okay you can always refine the edge as well you can always make the edge look more realistic as you can see some pixels right here are missing but we're going to bring those pixels back and also as you can see this place they are still showing but we're going to bring it back so just stay tuned so you can see also some of our hair here are missing but we're going to bring all these parts back i'm going to bring my background layer to photoshop right now and i'm going to do a more in-depth tutorial on how to change background in photoshop on my next video so i'll just come to my file this is the background which i want to use i got this overlay from uh, adobe stock so just go to adobe stock and you're going to see enough overlay so just click and drag your overlay to photoshop like this and just paste it on top like this like this or let me cancel this or you can come to your file click on place embedded and just look for a place where your overlay is so my overlay is saving my download to um, my download right now so i just look on my overlay and click on it right there this is it right here so I just click on place so once i place it or click and drag it below my layer mask like this and it's going to go to the back of the subject like this and right now i'm just going to work on the perspective make sure your perspective is right if not you're not going to get a realistic um image if your perspective is not right if i just um stretch this background like this and just stretch it like this looking at it right now the background is not looking realistic so i'm just going to undo that I'm just going to match the perspective to make it look more realistic since this image is not a full body image i'm just going to expand the background like this make it look a little bit bigger like this so i'm just going to try and match the perspective the way i want and i feel the subject is looking big in this uh, background so i'm just going to reduce the subject so i come to my subject layer click on it and just drag my subject down like this to reduce it to make it to make the subject look a little bit smaller in the image like this so that the image will be looking more realistic and also i'll come back to my background layer so what i'm doing right now i'm trying to match the background and the subject to make it look realistic so make sure you match the background and the subject to make your image look more realistic and that's how you get more realistic photo after you change the background of your image Okay, I think I like it like this, but I feel the subject is now looking too small, so I'm just going to increase the size of my subject like this, a little bit like this, and I think I like it like this, I'm going to click on OK, see the image is looking good, but I'm not done yet, the next I'm going to do, I'm going to bring back the missing, the missing pixels on this image, so if I zoom in like this, you can see this place, there are some missing pixels right here on the hand, I also this place are not looking realistic so i'm just going to fix this part and if i do that if you've learned anything from this video so far make sure to hit on that like button so that more people can see this video and learn from this video so to do that all i have to do is come to my layer make sure my layer mask is selected pick my normal brush tool make sure my flow is on 100 make sure my foreground color is on white and just brush like this to fill those place back and if i want to remove if I want to remove a place, like I have a brush right here, I'm just, I'm go I'm just going to switch to my black brush by clicking on X on my keyboard to switch between white and black. 
so once my foreground color is on black i can just remove a part which i don't want like this just remove it from the image remember to always reduce and increase your brush size according to the place which you want to work on so i'm just going to remove this part like this and for you i'm going to add this part like this i'm going to click on s again to switch to my white brush and add this part like this and also for this part right here i'm just going to switch to my black brush to remove those parts so i'll click on my black brush this is my brush size and just brush on this edge like this to remove those parts so just take your time to make sure you refine your edge make sure your brush your selection is perfect so that's the essence of this um changing of background to make it more realistic make sure you take your time to um refine your edge to make it look more realistic if not you're not going to get a more realistic image make sure you do this for the whole of this image but for the sake of this tutorial i'm not going to be doing it because i don't want this video to be too long so i'm just going to be doing that for the whole of the image if i was to retouch this image for the one i uploaded i did this for the whole of the image so just take your time and just refine the edge for the whole of the image right? and i'll come to this hair part right here i'll just pick my normal brush tool again and just brush with my white brush on the hair because i feel i've lost some pixels on the hair as well so i'll just bring back those pixels back like this so make sure you take your time to edit your image if you are retouching your image because the one i uploaded i took my time to edit it that's why the image is looking good so once it's done all that so next i'm going to do i want to make the background look more realistic normally if you shoot an image your subject has to be in focus and your background should be blurry so i want to create a depth of fit to this image and to do that i'm not going to be using the regular gaussian blur i'm going to, i'm just going to be using things blur to blur the background make sure my background is selected i come to my filter i click on blur gallery and i'm going to click on tilt shift so once i click on tilt shift it's going to open this windows for me right here so if i just bring the blur all the way to 100 you can see these parts right here in the middle are in focus while these parts right here are blurred so i'm just going to shift this um point all the way down and see where the legs start from since the legs start from here so i want the blur to start from here like this and i'm just going to shift it up a bit like this so the blur is going to come from down and go up so i feel the blur is too much obviously so i'm just going to reduce the rate of the blur to about 20 like this and i'm just going to add a little bit of greens to the image to make it look more realistic so i'm going to add an amount of uh, i think four is okay or five and i'm just going to reduce the size to about 15 or 13. so i like it like this you can see how blurry this image is and make sure you click on high quality make sure your high quality is checked so i'm, going to, so I'm just going to click on my high quality and click on ok you can see how good this image is right now you can see how blurry the background is and it's looking more and it's looking all realistic now let's see our before and after so this is the image without uh the blur and this is the image after the blur you can see how good this image is for the final step i'm just going to do a global adjustment for the whole image so i'm just going to merge the whole layer again by clicking on ctrl shift alternate e and then i'll come to my filter i'll come to my camera raw filter then i'll just add a little bit of blues to this image bring my temperature to the blue side like this and um add a little bit of tint to the image like this reduce the highlight reduce the highlight like this open up the shadow a bit bring down my blacks and um, i'll click on ok and let's see our before and after so these are before and these are after so next i'm going to do i cut my photo filter i'll just add an orange filter to this image like this and these are before and these are after so this is how you retouch your portrait image and how to change background in photoshop in my next video i'm going to be doing an in-depth tutorial on how to mask out subjects from the background thanks so much guys for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative